Well, the Tony winning Best Musical Jersey Boys uh, behind the uh, music story about Frankie Valli in Four Seasons. It's going to have its final performance January 15, 2017. Yeah, but starting tonight, a familiar face will be taking on the role of Frankie Valli. That familiar face is Mark Ballas. And OG met up with him to talk about playing the final Frankie. Well, Mark Ballas is absent from the dance floor this season. And if you didn't know the reason, now you will. Some people just like, where's Mark? Where's Mark? Where's yeah, Mark? And I here's mean, Mark. I miss my friends. I miss my friends. I miss being creative. But honestly, um, I'm excited to be here. This is something I've wanted to do since I was a kid in, in, in theater college. So. This is, this is great. I'm really excited to be here. And by here, he means Broadway, where he'll be playing Frankie Valli in Jersey Boys through the final performance. Some celebrities take on Broadway roles, and you're wondering, can they do it? Can they not? Since you dance, you know, you sing. Mm -hmm. you, so you're a performer at heart. So is that, does that make it easier, or is this still? Oh, I mean, I think it's a, very, it's a very challenging role in the sense that you have to capture the essence of the role, and it's not, it's not me playing Frankie Valli. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I have to play Frankie Valli. So. You know what I think is even cool? That Frankie Valli's performing in New York. I that know. That, isn't that crazy? That I saw cool. that. I'm like, how, how crazy is that? I Maybe. hope we get, we get to go check it out. You know? oh, or he can come see you playing Totally. Him. Yeah, I mean, I, cool, I right? think I've heard, uh, and I don't know if this is correct yet, but on our final performance, I think a few of them will be, you know, coming out, so he'll get to see it. All right, so no pressure. I know, right? No pressure. <laughs> that's, what, that's what everyone says. Because yeah. some people say I want to know that they're there. Some people say I don't want to know that he's there because I just don't want to know. I like knowing that people are there, you know, just because it kind of gives you an extra lift. How's it been like be being in New York? To be honest, right? I'm, I'm loving it. Like, um, I grew up in London. I spent oh. a lot of time in London. So it, it's somewhat, it's reminiscent of that. Like, there's a lot of walking and public transport, which you do not do in LA. Yeah. You know, my fiance's out here with me as well. So the two, the two of us have been loving it. You know, walking everywhere. I, th I swear, I've like, I've lost a you few chiseled. pounds. Just like I've chiseled from just walking. You know, I haven't even started the show. Well, he starts tonight and makes his Broadway debut at the August Wilson Theater in Jersey Boys, and he'll stay on through the final performance, like we said, January fifteenth of next year. And that won't be the only thing keeping him busy because he's also getting married to the really lovely and talented B.C. Jean. Good for him. Yeah, all good things happening for him. I love that. And, and for those who don't know who she is, she wrote the Beyonce song "If I Were a Boy." Really? She wrote, and then Beyonce heard oh. it and loved so it. So they got it going on. Yes, they do. All right, OG. Well, thank you for that, You're and uh, thanks for joining us here at five o'clock. Time now for the news at six with Tamsin John.